Hi and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video I will show you how to use the expiration tracker sheet. At the end of this video, you will learn the following. 1. How to navigate the expiration tracker sheets. 2. How to add and update data in the tracker table. 3. How to organize the expiration dates of each item in tracking sheets. Without further ado, let's get started. 1. The first column is the remaining days before it gets expired. 2. Next is the status column, 3. Third is the item description, 4. Fourth column is the item type, 5. The fifth is the start date or date issued, 6. Next is the end date or expiration date, 7. Next column is remaining days, 8. Last is the remarks column. The table sheet can be switched using the top buttons which categorize the following, 1 insurances, 2 licenses, Three visas. Four HR contracts. To add data, simply type the information of the documents based on the column description. Select the data you wanted to update when the document has been renewed, such as expiration date and start date. Status column has a specific formula. That will display the following information, 1 still valid, if the document is still in the validity period. 2. Renewal, if the document has 10 days before it gets expired. 3. Urgent renewal, if the document has 1 day remaining before expiration. 4 overdue, if the document has reached to expiration date. 5. This is the end of the video tutorial, looking forward that you have learned how to get around with this expiration tracker sheet. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for the new uploaded videos. Thank you and bye for now.